yellow class. I hope you all had a great day yesterday. Um, so I'm just going to go through your home learning for Tuesday. So starting off, and again, we're thinking about that owl sound, but today we are looking at the owl sound spelled with the O-W, okay? So it's the same sound, but just another way of spelling it. You've got some words, have a go at maybe doing a word search, maybe making um, a puzzle, maybe making your own pairs game. Have a go at playing a little game. Do some reading and some writing with some owl words. And again, there is some activity, an activity on spelling shed that Mrs. Welling has set up for you. Guide reading, so monitor and summarise, that's the real skill we're looking at this week. Can you recall the main events? So once you've read something, can you recall the main events that happened? And if it was a non-fiction text, you might want to just tell your parents the main facts that you learned rather than recount the whole thing. So practice those two fives and ten times table. See how quick you're getting at those. See if you can be yourself with those. Um, money. So yesterday you made a shop. Today what I want you to do is write five orders, I don't know, write an order for five customers. You don't have to write five orders for each customer, you'll be there all day. But imagine five customers are coming to your shop. You might want to use people in your family. Write an order down for them and work out how much they owe you. So if they buy two or three things from your toy shop, work out how much they'd have to owe you by adding the money together. Don't forget when you do that, we have to write in money carefully, so we need a P on the end, and if it goes over a pound, we need the pound sign, then you put, hopefully it won't go over one pound, um, so you'd have your pound sign, and then you might, you'd have your pence at the end, okay? So work out how much those five customers owe you by adding them up, Still using K is for kissing a cool kangaroo, but today what I'd like you to think about is over all those Giles Andrea books, who has been your favourite character? I will attach all the other books and the videos onto the page. They are already on our webpage, but have a look and re remind yourself, maybe watch some of the stories that you might not have seen. Who's been your favourite character? Think about why they were your favourite character, what you liked about them, was there something that you didn't like about them? Because sometimes we have a favourite character and we don't actually like part of um, their personality. So I'd like you to have a little go at writing a description of your favourite character. You can draw a picture to go with that as well. Handwriting today, writing some our words. So we're going to start off with brown. Then we are going to do growl. G, G is a low down letter into our R, O. When we come off the W, we go straight up into the L, we don't go down. Then we've got gown, we've got that G, O, W, N again. And we've got down, we've got D, O, W, and we've got that N. So carrying on with our DT. Now, yesterday, hopefully you maybe had a chance to look at some of those badges I put up. And... Um, Today we're going to be designing. Now our badge, however you're going to make it, needs to commemorate Lord Nelson. Okay? Think about what you want to put on there. On badges, you don't write whole sentences, so you want some images and you might want some words or maybe a date or something to commemorate something to do with Nelson. So you might want images of the victory, you might want to do an image of Nelson himself, you might want to put things like oak trees on there because victory was made from oak. You might want to write the word navy. You might even write, want to write Lord Nelson's name. Think about what you want to put on there. Think about the shape of your badge. It is easier if you do something that's either a circle or a square or a nice bold shape that you can cut out. Um, but today is just thinking about how you're going to design it and then think about how you're going to design a join the materials that you use. As I've said, in school we're going to be using fabric. At home you might just be using paper or card. You might have to use a combination of the two. So think about how you're going to join those materials. Um, there's an image of Nelson just in case you wanted that to remind you. And again, keep active. You've got Joe Wicks, you've got the new Forest School Sports Partnership. You could go for a bike ride, you can go for a walk, you could even do some of the PE lessons that we've done. You can have a go at doing those again. So have a great Tuesday and I'll see you all tomorrow.